Hello everyone. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to share with you how you can carry on an experiment of uh, charging a capacitor and uh, also discharging it through a resistor. In this experiment, I've got this resistor connected in series with the capacitor and the value of the resistor here is 1K and uh, the capacitance is 500 microfarad. <clears throat> if you want to increase the charging time, the time uh, by which the capacitor charges or stores the energy on the plate, then you can increase the value of the resistance or the value of the capacitance or both to increase the time the, the <clears throat> time that it charges and the product of the resistance and then the capacitance gives you the time constant the time constant is how long it takes to charge the capacitor and uh, five times time constant gives you about 99.32 percent of the full of the charge of uh, of of the voltage that will be stored on the capacitor now i've got this Two switches here this one here s2 is to um, provide a short circuit for this capacitor to fully discharge and then <coughs> s1 here, so uh, this one here uh, gets f midi s3 and that also what it does is that if i bring bring it up here it just makes the circuit complete for the charging and as it is now where it is now where the switch is now it makes it also complete for discharging through the resistor now um this one here the short circuit here i'll show you the reason why later on also here i've got the grapher here which uh, the graphing or the curve of the charging will be produced and then the discharging also be produced here now um you can also maybe you will be asked to plot a graph and if you are asked to plot a graph you are going to need your table column headers like time capacitor voltage resistor voltage current power and you just the timing could be decided by you either every 10 seconds also i have made mine here every 30 seconds and then you pick the charge or the voltage stored on the capacitor and just uh, note them down here so you need your timer you need someone to help you or you need a timer to time it and at the end you plot your voltage uh, voltage across the capacitor versus time and that will give you something like this on a discharge too you have to do the same timing and then the voltage on the capacitor as the time goes on it to be decreasing and you'll be timing it picking the values and noting them down in the end you plot a graph and you will have something like this <coughs> so this is a table for that okay for the charging and that is <coughs> for the discharging okay let's come back to here now the short circuit is saw on the on the, on the, on the circuit here is this one yeah if you look at this capacitor uh, it's, it's it's maximum voltage that can be stored in the plate is 450 so that is quite a huge voltage that can instantly kill you or give you the nastiest uh, shock in your life so before you, you touch the leads here you have to use uh, a screwdriver the blade of the screwdriver connect the two together and to discharge it and that is why i have that one there so practically this is what you do and over here to on the circuit that's if i just if i just close that what it means is that i'm just discharging it and this here will read zero the voltmeter here will read zero okay quickly let's go to the charging now the time constant like i told you is how long it takes to charge and one time constant it should uh, the cap the voltage stored on the capacitor should be 63 percent so and how do you do it you multiply this by that to get the time constant so quickly uh, let's go on to the charging so i'm going to start a simulation now i'm going to and you see it here you can just manipulate this by 
bring it this down here and I will change the voltage to okay <coughs> so you can see the charging now and how it is and suddenly it's over here and with this you have to time it and put it on the excel sheet okay so uh, this is when it's this is about 90 something percent now so it's okay for me to i'll just stop it i'll just pause it now <coughs> this is 11.90 actually if I had allowed it it would go on and on but I just did this and um, this time here it's in seconds here milliseconds so this is 500 milliseconds and that is not point not five milliseconds here <clears throat> so up to here the charging took 3.5 uh, seconds okay and uh, over here but if you multiply this uh, the one kilo ohm by five is it 500 uh, by the 500 microfarad you should get a time constant of 0 0.5 not 0.5 so the maximum charge uh, that is um, that should reach about yeah 11.9 volts which is about 99.3 percent and that should give us about 2.5 seconds that has of you've seen here okay quickly now let's try the discharging so i'll just bring this here and let's see how it it is discharged so i'm going to start it discharging now and this is how it's going to discharge so just like i said the time constant one time constant for this circuit that i built here is 0.5 okay so in the end we will see how much time is taken for one cycle that is the charging and what the discharging gives us one cycle and it gets to zero i'll see it because this is now millivolts so it's now zero and I'll stop it and uh, let's see so this is one complete cycle okay the charging up to here and then the discharging right down here and this will also be able to tell you how much time you've used uh, it's <clears throat> 8.56 seconds so 8.64 seconds okay and that is the uh, that is the um, for one cycle the time for one cycle but actually it should be somewhere here uh, the time for one cycle about six or so somewhere here cool. if I multiply 2.5 seconds by 2 that's for one complete cycle that should give us five seconds so somewhere there okay and this is how you do it to actually you know simulate it in the end when you come here you can export it you can do your exporting the graph and everything here and then uh, you can also plot it graphically by yourself thank you very much for watching